Welcome everyone. I am super excited to show off the changes and buffs to both Gastrodons. But before I can get into that, I want to quickly make a disclaimer. If you are new here, welcome and hello. Definitely make sure you check out the description below. There is a link to the very same Google Sheet that I use in all my videos. And most importantly, there is a link right here at the bottom that says search all moves here. And you can check out all of the move buffs and changes. There are 130 plus custom new moves. And then literally every single other move is buffed or changed. There's like five moves that aren't changed out of like the 700 plus moves in the game so uh yeah definitely uh, give that a look as you're looking through the pokemon changes that's super important that being said though uh gastrodon some super super interesting and awesome and fitting in my opinion buffs here um i wanted some unique type combos uh we already had poison ground types in the form of the nido twins but you know a little more variety is cool it's a really cool typing and just like how kind of you know how Claude Zire is a poison ground type that lives in the water and has uh, an ability that makes it immune to water, I decided to make the West Sea Gastrodon and Chelos poison ground types, while the East Sea remain water ground types. Um, both of those type combos are really great. Poison ground with storm drain is great, and then water and ground with storm drain is great. Um, well, we already know water ground is one of the best. It's just a great defensive typing. Um, it's just super awesome and really strong. Uh, all of them have Regenerator and Storm Drain. Regenerator is an obviously fitting ability, I hope, for most people who understand stuff about Gastrodon. You know, it talks about how it grows its body right back and stuff. It's based off, of, what is it, like a neuter branch, a sea slug? Neuter branch, those types of sea slugs? I think so. Point is, they have very strong regenerative capabilities, so Regenerator is a great ability. Um, they don't outclass outright the other water grounds because they, um, the other water grounds are either stronger or have just different abilities in general, like Quagsire has Unaware and Simple, and then Whiskash has Berserk and Metabolism, you know, and just overall better mixed bulk, like it's physically bulkier and has more HP. Speaking of the HP, yes, I did drop their HP, um, not as like a nerf or anything, but because HP is, I, at least I'm trying to make it a little bit more consistent with the size of the Pokemon, not entirely. I mean, these guys aren't that big and 88 is pretty damn high. 88 is damn near 90. 88 is definitely an above average HP set. It's a great HP set still, but I just want to make it a little bit more consistent and logical. So, you know, drop the HP a little bit, but I did give them giant boost to their defenses. So they are still overall bulkier, especially on the special side um, with that 123 or 128 special defense. They do have minor stat differences. The only difference is five special attack and spadef being swapped around. Poison type being a little bit stronger, in my opinion, makes kind of sense. And I also just felt weird having identical stat charts right on top of each other. So I figured why not make them a little bit more different from one another. Um, but the typing alone is a huge difference. So if you do go to like, I don't know, fucking, I guess I can use Clawsire now. Um, if you look at the type effectiveness, I'm not going to pull this over, so I'll just read it. But uh, you resist bug, rock fighting, and then you have a four, and fairy, and you have a four times resist to poison in exchange for an immunity to electric and water. And only one weakness, uh, only two weaknesses to ground and psychic. So it's pretty damn great. It's a great typing. Um, and then obviously, and you also have pretty good, you actually have very good offensive dual coverage with poison and ground, uh, which, you know, some mons like King and stuff have proven before. You know, you hit the things that resist your poison stab with your ground stab. It's just a great type combo, honestly. Um, and it's super cool. I just love like the look of it. Like, you know, the, the West Sea is pink and it has like the spikier bits, you know, like it's got the little bulb and the spike on Shellos while like the EC is all fluttery because it's like ocean. So I like the idea of them being different types a lot. And it also just makes them not useless purely aesthetic differences not that that's a bad thing but basically if the type uh if it's if it's available for me to change in the game files and they're two different forms i might consider giving them a difference just for the fun of it like i did with the totem forms and stuff if it's able to be changed not all forms are able to be changed like for example pyroar i couldn't change those two guys um, to be different from one another but uh regardless just really awesome buffs here i mean regen is huge dude 88 88 123 slash 128 bulk with regen is just chef's kiss um you do have access to infinite usability capsules in this hack so you can easily switch between regen and storm drain you're running storm drain maybe 20 percent of the time 30 percent of the time whenever you see a water type move in front of you on the trainer docks that you need to counter basically otherwise you're running regen um, they don't have any switch moves. Most Pokemon do, in this hack do have switch moves, like Parting Shot or U-Turn. They're all switch, but none of those fit Gastrodon even loosely, so, you know, it's fine. Um, you, you could use Infinite Use Attack Button if you really wanted to, but overall, you're, you'd probably rather just switch it and then pivot out later. Um, it's got so many great options. It's got Reliable Recovery with Recover, and then later on, Sediment, which heals you by two-thirds in the sand. And then, <laughs> man, uh, you have Stockpile and Swallow. Swallow being buffed to heal you by 100% HP. 
uh, as long as you have at least one star power boost off and it's priority. So it's essentially like a max potion, like you're using a max potion. Keep in mind, healing items are disabled in attack. Um, and in exchange, you lose your stock power boost, even if it's only one, but you still heal fully. So that's a great move. Spew out is also very strong. Again, I'm not going to go through every little nitty gritty option, but you can totally just uh, check out the description below and see what these moves do now. Um, an AV set would be pretty damn strong too, with like Giga Drain or Siphon or both. Um, but yeah, uh, then your best healing move at level 50 is Shrink Snap, which is just Chef's Kiss. Beautiful. A little bit of favoritism here, I'm not going to lie. I really like Gastrodon. It's a cool mod. Probably my favorite of the Water Grounds uh, design-wise. It's just pretty interesting looking, and I don't know, I just like weird Pokemon like this. this weird little Sea Slug guy. Um, just, there's so many great moves that I could go into, but I'm not even going to waste time talking about every nitty-gritty option. Just know that you have very powerful Snap moves, very good utility moves. Um, as well as something like even late game like Hydro Cannon, uh, dropping a special attack stat by two is great because then you can regenerate her out, especially for the water form because you have stab that's extremely powerful. And then you switch out to remove the stat drops as well as, you know, gain HP back. Um, and then at level 60, you get Acid Armor, which is essentially Cotton Guard now. You get plus three defense, which is huge, um, especially because the defense that is lower than their special defense. So you can use that in conjunction with Strength Sap and just become super tanky. Strength Sap in general is great for them. I love it. I love it so much. It's so good. Uh, let me fix this there it looks too high up but yeah it's just so 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 fun i really do love these buffs oh that's a little too overcompensated <laughs> um yeah i don't really know what else to say honestly i think logically fits very well um if there is room for it i will throw in an in-game trade to trade the ec for west c because i know for example i actually initially wanted to make them a branched evolution but i opted not to because uh my friends were telling me not to <laughs> um but i would have liked to be able to choose the form on evolution but it's, it is what it is i acknowledge that it's kind of weird to do that so the compensation would be to make it a trade uh you trade the blue one for the pink one but that's only if i have the room and honestly i'm probably gonna have to conserve those to fit other pokemon that won't make sense to be caught until later in the game so yeah uh don't count on that but the point is both forms are great. I mean, obviously the water ground typing is still an incredible typing with free gen and storm drain. It's it's, it's fucking god tier. Um, great Pokemon here. Great defensive uh, glue for your team and also very strong offensively. They have pretty good special attack stats as well. You know, good dual stab, solid coverage, you know, Giga Drain and Ice Beam and dual stab and stuff. It, it's got everything it needs. So thank you so much for listening. Hopefully this video was informative. Hopefully you like this, this style of buffs and changes. Um, if you do, definitely make sure you check out the description below. And also if you're wondering about why the poison typing fits besides the coloration and the vibe of them, I mean, it, the deck literally says that they're, I mean, they're fucking like sea slugs. Sea slugs are poisonous uh, for the most part. And I believe some of these decks just even talk about yeah, like here it says it's not poisonous, um, but that's for the EC form. So, oh, there you go. Um, the other forms, it doesn't, it doesn't explicitly say the EC, West C form isn't poisonous. Not to mention, like, who cares, man? It's a ROM hack. It's cool. It, matches, it fits pretty well. And it makes them different from one another, which I like. So, yeah. Um, thank you so much for listening. If you did enjoy this, please consider subscribing. It would be very helpful for me. If you listen this far and you should definitely be subbed already. I don't know what you're doing. Um, check out the description down below. There is a link to the Google Sheet, like I said. And you can join my Discord server if that interests you as well. Uh, and I'll leave it off there. Thank you for your time and goodbye.